So hello and welcome to the Computer Lab. So in this video, I am going to be doing a unboxing of the Google Cloud Titan security key and also a short overview of the services that this two-factor authentication key offers for your Google account. But if you're unsure on what two-factor authentication is or if you're just generally interested in improving your security on your online or Google account, then please do carry on watching this video. Okay, so before I start unboxing the Google Cloud Titan security key, I think a brief overview of what two-factor authentication is and what this physical device will do for us. So you might already have enabled a two-factor authentication on your account, on different types of account. This can be on Amazon accounts, Google accounts. But what the physical key does, it puts another barrier in the place. So it basically tries to combat the fact that somebody might attack you with a phishing attack, a phishing email, um, so where even the most security conscious users can be tricked into giving over their password or something like that. And this protects from that threat because when you go to log into your account for the first time on a new device, it will ask you to present the physical key, which is in this box. Uh, so you have to register these onto your account that you're trying to protect first. Uh, and in this box, you get two, you get a Bluetooth device um, and also a physical backup key. So the one on the right is the backup key or supposed to be, you can use it as a normal login. And the one on the left um, is a Bluetooth as well as uh, a USB key. Uh, the cable that you get in the box can be used as a USB key as well as say maybe logging in on your phone or iPad or something like that. Um, so yeah, it safeguards you in that way. Uh, so it's a really good, nice way of securing your account. Uh, and if you go onto the Google's Advanced Protection website, it talks about adding stronger defense for journalists and people like that that might be more exposed than say a standard user. But I'd say as a standard user, we should be using this type of login more a physical device uh, so that somebody in a different country can't get access to our password and then just take over our accounts. By putting this physical device, this Titan security key into the mix, uh, it basically means that they will need access to this key to get access to your account. So I think it's something we should be looking at more, uh, especially for people that maybe do YouTube and stuff like that, that uh, expose their email address to the uh, big wide world out there. Okay, so let's get into the box and let's have a look what you get first. So you get the default, let's get started book that Google put in with all the uh, bits of kit and bits of hardware itself. So in there's just a brief instruction how to get started. You get the usual thing that you get with all these type of devices, about a 120 page warranty document that everybody just puts to one side. So let's put them to one side. Okay, so the two keys on the right hand side is what they call the backup key which has no battery in it at all. Uh, and you do have to register it to your account, but once it is registered, uh, like I say, Google recommend that you use that one as your backup key in case you lose your primary key uh, as shown on the left here. So we'll get the primary key out of the box and you notice the green light is flashing. That's because I've just accidentally pushed the button on it and that's just telling you that it's activated and it's trying to log in. Um, so yeah, and the one on the left is the Bluetooth. So I'm just going to cover my finger over the underside here because there is a code on the back of the key that when you register this key with Google, it will ask you for that key code that is on the back of the Titan fob. Uh, so it's just a bit out of focus here, but there's a micro USB on the bottom. You push the button to activate the login. And on the left, uh, like I say, it is just a bit out of focus. There we go, uh, is the Bluetooth. Uh, so when you are registering it to an iPad or an iPhone or an Android phone, um, you keep your finger on the button for five seconds and the Bluetooth is activated to sign in on something that doesn't have a USB adapter or cable with it uh, and also it's a quicker way of signing in on your ipad etc or tablet so yeah so the micro uh, usb is on the bottom and the backup key um, obviously the one with the the fob has a battery installed uh, which you use to charge it up and the backup key is no battery at all so what else do you get in the box you get the cable so you get a micro usb cable and you also get an adapter for a USB-C. So that's great. So if you've got the new MacBook or something like that, uh, because they are USB-Cs um, uh, on the side of them. Uh, and also most new PCs now come with uh, USB-C. So on the underside, you'd plug the uh, micro USB in. 
and that gives you this standard so USB plug uh, to activate your account and then say maybe you'd registered the dongle or logged into your account on a standard Windows 10 PC and then you wanted to log in on a different machine into the same account that you're registering with you would put the USB-C adapter in. This key on the left works the same as the backup key on the right uh, the only difference is the one on the left, which the Google call a primary, uh, like I said, the one on the left has the uh, battery built in and also has Bluetooth support. So you can use it on your iPad and iPhone or tablet devices with Bluetooth built in. But yes, the uh, USB-C adapter is just a standard adapter. You just plug in like that and it gives you a USB-C end to, if I just focus on it, just so it gives you a USB-C end so you can use the key fob to sign in on a, a device that only has a USB-C on it maybe. Uh, so yeah that's the two keys um, the primary and the backup key so that's the contents of the box described and the two different keys that you get uh, for your money from google when buying a titan security key so i think now if i just show you how this works with logging into uh, google services um, and how you use the keys uh, in the real world when logging into a device for the first time okay so let's get started so the first thing to note is that I am uh, that I am using Google Chrome. I'm not in Safari because Safari has some issues when using the Titan security key or this type of login. So make sure you're using a compatible browser. Also, if you are going to be uh, enrolling in the advanced protection program from Google, that your Mac or Mail on Mac might not work. Okay, so now we've got that out of the way, let's go to a sign in. And for obvious reasons, I am going to blank out my usernames and passwords so every time you see it blur up like this that is me purposely blanking out my username and password not so fussed about the uh, email um, address but obviously the password i don't want anybody seeing that and all my other accounts as well so anytime you see a blur then that's the reason so click next uh, this is me trying to sign in now i have already registered the two security keys into my google account for two-factor authentication so it is now asking me for my physical uh, USB security key. So I'm plugging in it to a small USB port I have on the front of my Mac. And once I've got it plugged in, I now have to push the button. Uh, and if this is on my backup key or this primary device, I push the button in the middle of the device and then straight away it says you are all set. And worth to note here that where it says do don't ask again on this computer, make sure that is ticked so then I don't have to use this key again to sign in this, to this particular device. Click on the next, and now I'm signed in to my account using my Google Cloud Titan security key, which is great. So the point being here, if somebody else tried to sign in to my account that had my password, they would get to the first stage, but then the second stage they won't be able to do because they haven't got the physical device to do it. Um, and that's, oh, I'm just showing in the video there that the backup key, I could use the backup key as well, but really that's to put into a safe place um, in case I lose my primary key. So I'll just quickly show you how to sign these keys into your Google account. So now I'm signed in, top right hand corner, go to Google account. And then in here on the left hand side, there's a tab called security. Click on security. And then in the security tab, there is a section that says two step verification. Click on this and this will then ask you for your password again. Click next to sign yourself in. And you can see here I have the two keys registered. And at this point you could add a security key. And you might already have the authenticator app uh, you're already working or two-factor authentication might already be activated. Um, and it might be already using a sort of the authenticator, uh, authenticator Google app, which you can see on the screen here, uh, which can download on Android and also iOS devices. Uh, the beauty of obviously, like I said before, the beauty of these actual Titan security keys is they are actual a physical device that um, you need to actually be hands-on to log in to your account. Okay, so one last thing to quickly cover is Google's Advanced Protection Program. So when you register for these keys or you purchase them from the site, Google will offer you uh, to opt in to their Advanced Protection Program, which is great. But if you just want to sort of secure your account with 
um, another way of using two-factor authentication, then I would just add it into your account like I showed you earlier in your Google account. If you purely use your keys only, so you don't have any other two-factor authentication and you just want to use your keys, uh, then once you register for the advanced program, it will wipe out all other authentication methods. So every time you log into your account, you will need your keys available. Um, obviously, once you've logged into one machine, it'll be fine, but if you ever lose your keys or want to log into another device, uh, you can't use a, a secondary way of getting into your account. Uh, for example, the Authenticator uh, app on your iPhone or Android device. So if there is a link below in the description to my Amazon affiliate link, this is what I said it is, is an Amazon affiliate link and will give me a small cut in the profit if you buy um, not just a Google key, but a, a type of security key that I link to from the uh, link in the description. The link might not be there because I might not get round to it, but if it is there, please do click on that because it does all help and I get a small cut in the profits. Okay, so that is it. That is Google's Titan security key. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up or indeed, if you didn't, give us a thumbs down. I always welcome any comments below. Please do subscribe to the Computer Lab. It always helps. And please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos that I might do. And thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.